we're going to be doing two different tests. One is the max distance test. We're going to put the trackers right here on this netting a little bit off the ground and see how far we can go out there. Now understand that this is not a real life situation. There's never going to be a time where your tracker is up in the air. It's just to make sure the tracker can do what the company says it can do. Tao says Tao Pro can go up to 300 feet. Q Pro says it can go up to 200 feet. I will also be doing another test where I actually drop it down on the ground and do a real life situation test. Now also understand there's a lot of factors involved. There could be weather, cell phone reception, radio waves, your phone, there's a lot of different factors so you might get different results in your testing i'm just putting the trackers in very similar situations on the same day same weather same phone and see which one does best hundred and eighty three feet roughly so all in all from that soccer goal to that soccer goal it's three hundred and sixty six feet here's a new tile pro Let's go out here and see how far it can go. All right, we are just at the penalty box. Let's go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear that. I got about four circles. Very cool, let's turn around and keep on going. All right, approaching 100 feet right there. Let's go ahead and turn around and ring it. And I still got four circles. I can definitely hear it. Keep on going. Let's go ahead and ring it. I got two circles and I can definitely hear it. That is super, super loud. Keep on going. All right, I am almost at the other goalie box. Turn around, make sure it works. I have two circles and believe it or not, I can actually hear it. All right, let's keep on going. We're gonna go past the goal and go down to the basketball court and I am still connected. And I am still connected. I'm way past the goal. All right, let's go ahead and ring it. And it has one circle. I can just ever so subtly hear it. I do have some road noise out here. Can you guys see me? We can go keep going a little bit more down this little path. I am still connected, or at least that's what it says. All right, I cannot go any further than this. Let's go ahead and ring it. And it's saying it is ringing. I can definitely not hear it. I am all the way back over here. You guys can probably not see me, but it says it can. It is definitely ringing. Now, for some reason, I did lose it, but it just did reconnect. All right, let's go back. This is the cube two, and it has full circles. Go ahead and ring it, make sure it's connected. There we go, and it's pretty loud. Let's go out there and see how far I can get. All right, I lost about half of them. I'm right outside the goalie box. Ain't a bar or two back. Let's go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear it. Let's keep on going. All right, I got disconnected. I am just a little bit past 100 feet, turning around. And I'm reconnected. I gained some of the bars back. Go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear it. All right, let's turn around and keep on going. All right, I am exactly at half field now. Let's turn around and see what we got. I can definitely hear it. All right, let's keep on going. About 200 feet. I would say I'm probably about 225. Probably about 250 now, roughly. Let's go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear it. Let's keep on going. Just about at the goalie box. Got two bars left. All right, I'm at the other goal right now. 366 feet. And it just did, did just connect. Let's go ahead and turn around and see if it reconnect. And it did. Let's go ahead and ring it. And believe it or not, I can ever so slightly hear. Let's go down to the basketball court. Oh, disconnected. Let's go ahead and turn around. Just a little bit past the goal post. See if it will reconnect. Give it a second and it doesn't seem to be reconnecting. Let's walk up just a little bit. See when it will reconnect. Okay, right past the goal post, it reconnected. So we are at probably about 375, maybe 380. Let's go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear it. All right, so I'm gonna say this can go about 380. All right, let's go back and drop these things down onto the ground where you actually drop the tracker on the ground and see how far the distance can go. Now, understand this is real life, but there's still um, variables that could affect the distance. I'm just putting these trackers in very similar conditions and see which one does better. I'm gonna put the Cube Pro right here with the sound holes up. Tile Pro with the sound holes up. Let's go out there and see what it can do. All right, I'm at the penalty box with the gold box. Let's go ahead and ring it. And I can definitely hear that. I got four bars or four circles. I am at 100 feet. 
Let's go ahead and turn around and ring it. I got one circle and I can definitely hear it. Let's keep on going. I am right here at half field. I still got a signal. Let's go ahead and ring it. Got one circle and I can ever so slightly hear it. All right, let's keep going. Up. I just lost it. Turn around and see if it will reconnect. And it did. Let's go ahead and ring it. And it is saying it's ringing, but I cannot hear it. I do have a plane over my head. It's probably about 185, 190. All right, let's go back and do the Cube Pro. All right, here's the Cube Pro. Let's go ahead and do this test. I'm losing a couple bars pretty quickly. I'm at the goal box or the penalty box. Let's go ahead and ring it. I can definitely hear it. Let's keep on going. Approaching about 100 feet up, oh, just disconnected. Let's turn around and see if it will reconnect. I would say I'm about 75 feet. No, it doesn't seem to reconnect. Let's move up a little bit. All right, just reconnected. I'm probably about at 60 feet, roughly. Let's go ahead and ring it. And it definitely is ringing. Let's move back a little bit. All right, I'm about at 75, 80 feet. Let's go ahead and ring it. And it just connected. Nope, I don't hear it. So. I would say probably about 65, maybe 60, 65 feet for the Cube Pro on the ground. All right guys, let's wrap up the video. All in all, both trackers did fairly well. Um, they both lived up to what the company says it can do in the max distance test. Tile Pro did do better in the max distance test by a little bit and did much better than the Cube Pro on the ground, but they can both did what the company says it can do in the max distance. So that's what's most important. Definitely check out my other review videos of both trackers because there's other factors involved when you're ready to pick which tracker is right for you. I have the Tile Pro right there and the Cube Pro right there. If you're brand new to my channel, thank you for watching. I appreciate the love and support. Make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. And if you want to become a super subscriber, check out my Patreon page right there. I will see you guys on the next video. Oh